could this be it, my friends? Could this be the final video of the LP? Well, I guess we're about to find out. Hello there, everyone. KYN here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Long Live Lemmings. So, last time solved um, the final low of Mayhem and also the first two lows of the bonus rank. So, we are halfway through the bonus rank, and so there are only two lows left. So, if all goes well, this will be the final um, video of the LP, but if not, then probably one more after this. But um, anyway, yes, we are quite close. So, let's go ahead and get into the Let's Play now. So, bonus 3, Working Lem Blues. 20 lemmings, 20 to be saved here. Okay, and I see a couple of buttons here. Ooh, another one of everything. I, I always like that. Okay, uh, button here and a button here. Ooh, we don't have diggers. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. We might have to, um, probably block at the edge or something. And then maybe platform across? Oh, we don't have a climber. We do have a jumper, though. Uh, more importantly, we do have a shimmier as well. So, let's go ahead and shimmy across. Okay, and then how about... Mining the blocker free here. Oh! Now this... This trap appears to be misplaced. So, we'll probably have to... Block at the very edge or something. Let's have him... Plat I mean, platform. Shimmy across. I'm not sure what good that will do, though. Well, that doesn't... That didn't do anything, so... Let's not give him a slider just yet. I did not make it across. Hmm. What's the point? Uh, yeah, can we? Uh, actually, hold on. Yeah, I mean, we could just. Um, like, what do you call it? Um, like, fence them out properly and then fire bash out over here. Um... Hmm... Yeah, and if we put a slider, we're gonna go the other way, huh? Oh. Ah, that's how we can reach the bun. Thank you. 
Okay, um, just need to get someone up there. Where's the glider anyway? That's the glider. Okay, yeah, but he doesn't quite make it across. Hmm. Hmm, he just barely can make it up there. So once again, we have the slider problem. However, um, there shouldn't be too much of a problem. Particularly since we can just um, make the tele teleporter overflow. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Can't, can't build it yet. There we go. Yep, and now it's just a simple matter of building over the teleporter. Okay, I don't exactly know what this solution is intended, but, um... This works, so I'll go with it. <laughs> Alrighty, and the final low to round off the pack. Me, myself, and I for bonus four. One lemming, and we need to say three. So there should be at least two cloners in here. Okay, and a time limit of one minute. L L L. Ah, so almost a two of everything, except we have three bashers and three fencers. Okay, another, like, um, search for the buttons. Ooh, that's pretty interesting. One, two, three, four, five. Five buttons and all within a minute. Wow. And then go out to the right, okay. Uh, let's see. So. Perhaps what we need to do. Build on a clone, probably. Or, how about signing some permanent skills? Yeah, I don't exactly know what I'm doing. <laughs> up. Okay, and then this right here. Um, hmm. Hmm. Okay, um, it's probably not the way to go, though. Okay, we don't have any jumpers, okay. Um, 
yeah, we would definitely need to um, shimmy up here to get that button. Uh, same thing with up, here. same thing with here. So the question is, how can we do that if we don't even have any jumpers? Okay, and then we also have a button over here. Uh, perhaps we can go over top up there. Wow. In just a minute, too. Um, let's see. Putting a stacker. Or how about putting up the edge here? Again, let's go ahead and give him a climber. This fence. Alright, and let's go ahead and build. Okay, um, don't this guy get to safety? Seems that we might have to shimmy again. Okay, it's for him. Um, and I got a hiccup by shimmy as well over here. Hmm, and we're already running out of time. Pretty fast here. Actually stops right there. Um, not again. He could probably just mine through here. Yeah, I could probably use another builder there. Oh wait, I'm out of builders. So maybe rather than that, how about using a platformer? Um, yeah, and by this point, we only have 13 seconds left. <laughs> I find this unbelievable that this can actually be done in just one minute. Yeah, 
yeah. But at the same time, the one minute means that that's going to be a very short low. It doesn't mean it's going to be easy though, because a lot of short lows, if done correctly, can still be very difficult. Yeah, and I think this is one of them. Hmm. Might even consider like um bash. Oh wait, hold on. Yeah, so why don't we assign a climber and then clone? Let's see. Is it possible to stack and then he'll be able to climb that? Perfect. The only problem is that um, I would need to maybe get another clone up there as well. Uh, you know what, let's just... No, it's not gonna do because... Um, yeah, I would need someone going the other way as well. Um... Hmm. Then again, we could probably just shimmy as well. And then, yeah, if we mine backwards here. He's trapped in there. Oh, well, not completely, but... on the other side there. Um...
I think here we can just use a stacker though. able to get past that. Oh, you passed that. a bit too slow there. Um Those two actually made it on time, just barely though. Yeah, now it's just that clone right here. I 
Um, yeah, it's just that there's a button there, so... Um, so I wonder how we can speed that up. stackers here. Probably even go up here or something. But then again, yeah, I think that's where um, he didn't have enough time or something. Yeah, okay, great. Now I wish I had the old actions here. Thank you. 
Curses. I do have a climber and a slider left over, so I'm wondering. Not sure if those can even be used to save time, actually.
Somehow I feel it, like it makes it worse, but um, I don't know. It definitely made it worse. Snow doesn't make it on time.
Uh, he takes way too long. Okay, so I think it's clear that no matter what we do, yeah, we won't be able to get him to the exit on time. So it kind of leads me to speculate that uh, somehow we must uh, like, just make our way through here, but, um... I don't know, it seems a little counterintuitive to do so. Was that I already used my cloner though.
way too much time. Use the shimmer, so Oh. 
too slow. they actually make it this time. Aha! <laughs> Two seconds. Wow. Wow, unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, I got, I didn't know that that would make such a diff huge difference. That actually saved a lot of time for some very odd reason. Okay, so with the completion of bonus four, that brings us back to the first low, which is fun one. Okay, so I got to say, very nice second pack, uh, Nish. Uh, this one was pretty enjoyable. Uh, love the challenges within, though. And as usual, I do know that um, uh, Nish's levels are characterized by uh, being pretty difficult. Um, yeah, they may look pretty simple, but they are actually pretty deceivingly tough. Yeah, so it may be a short pack. Yeah, 24 main levels and then 4 bonus levels. But do not expect this to be a very quick solve. Yeah, I didn't think this would be. Yeah, Nish told me that, that he feels that his second pack is easier than Yippee More Lemmings, but no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, this one took me far longer than I thought it would. But in any case, yeah, finally made it through after some struggling. With plenty of struggles, actually. But uh, the challenges with him were pretty good. Yeah, Fun 1, for example, that was a really nice low to start off the rank. Um, the only hard parts were just um, placing the stackers and also the digger precisely. And also, that platformer has to be at the extreme edge, or else you're not going to get across. So, uh, in a way, I kind of would say, yeah, reduce the precision, precision there a bit, but um, it's not a big deal since, um, um, yeah, you can clearly tell from the skill shadow anyway. Yeah, that no precision will work except at the very extreme edge. Uh, fun too. That this was definitely one of my favorites, one of my absolute favorites. The first load that featured the slider in the back. Um, yeah. Very, very nice uh, basic use of it. And uh, I kind of forgot the um, that you can sign a jumper to a slider. So because of that, yeah, that's the reason why it gave me some trouble. But um, once I realized that that can happen, then I was like, oh, that's a really nice one. Yeah. And then, fun three, I was told, yeah, um, uh, there was absolutely no need to like use a digger to cancel another digger in that low. Uh, I don't think I checked... Um, Initial solution, yeah, as compared to mine yet. Uh, fun for, yeah, I don't think I compared his solution to mine yet as well. Um, yeah, um, I think um he told me that I made my solution harder than I needed to. Uh, it is a pretty nice one though, but um, it it's pretty much like the first level where you can pretty much see that sliders can definitely be a problem. Like it's a really cool skill and everything, but everything, but it can definitely like backfire. Just just when you thought you had the low salt, but then all of a sudden, yeah, you see something the slider do something that you didn't want him to. And yeah, <laughs> it turns out not to be a solve. As I've uh, ran into that problem a lot in that low. And then fun five, yeah, nothing too hard about this one. Um jumpers may look very plentiful, but yeah, in in my solution at least, um I used all of them. And then fun six, yeah, 
just a really nice floor of everything to finish off the fun rank. Um, it wasn't that hard at all. Um, just a lot easier than I thought it'd be actually. Uh, tricky one, yeah. Um, looks pretty intimidating, but it's not that extremely hard. Um, yeah, I was already told by Nish that it's an open-ended low. Uh, I guess I found a completely different one, um, to his solution. Yeah, and I did check it anyway. And yes, I have been told that it is possible to, uh, get to the far right exit. And yes, I totally forgot that you can, um, um, the lemon will slide it and you have to cancel, uh, assign a shimmer in order for that to happen. And then take a hike, as I said, yeah, that's one of his contest levels. Uh, one of his most recent one, actually. Um, yeah, not too difficult at all. Uh, this one, pretty good level. Uh, I was told that, that my solution is a back route, so he'll be uh, updating it and patching it out. Um, Tricky4 as well, he also told me that's the back route. Um, and then Tricky5, yeah, this one was more challenging than I thought it'd be, but, um, um, yeah, I think Nish told me that, um, I also made this harder on myself than I needed to, but, um, uh, he told me it was acceptable, though. And then Tricky6, yes, I compared my solution, and no, that, I wasn't saying that the, um, blockers were precise, but rather, um, uh, basically placing the miner so that, um, the first climber does not go out to the left, uh, was the, um, timing heavy thing there. And... I checked his solution, and yes, he it is the exact same thing there. You're supposed to use the mine to break through that staircase, so that the climate doesn't go out. Uh, taxing one, I think Nish said that that's also a back route. And then, possibly taxing two as well, I'm not sure though. Um, he admired my perseverance for um, um, finally getting solved after a lot of struggling. And then, yeah, I think he also said taxing three was a back route. Um, yeah, definitely the way I did my solution, it should not have worked. Um, uh, especially with some more moving of the steel blocks. And then, taxing for another contest level of his. Yeah, that I've already played before, so, um, this one felt a little different for, for some very odd reason. Uh, and I'm not just saying that because there were no exit limits this time. But, uh, again, it is Nish's low, so therefore he, he does what he wants with it. Uh, Taxim 5, this one was a really good one. Uh, I definitely learned some new things here about the slider. Um, it's a pretty easy level for the most part. Uh, it's just that, that slider, yeah, I kept running into problems with him. And then, I guess the key was the uh, skills that I had left over to help me, uh, get him, uh, to go to the exit. Rather than go the other way, at the end of a platform or something. And then Taxing 6, yeah, Taxing 6 is a pretty good one. Uh, except it is... It has a little too much precision for my liking. Um, because, like, um, you don't play some of the skills correctly, yeah, you're not going to rescue the uh, lemmings in time before you lose too many. And that's after you use all the floaters as well. Mayhem 1. Mayhem 1, that's a really good one. Yeah, somewhat difficult, but um, but given the errors that you go through, yeah, it shouldn't take that long to, like, um, determine the, the route to take. Uh, Mayhem 2, a pretty good one as well. I could definitely tell it's an homage to um, It's Hero Time from the original Lemmings, um, given the one of everything skill set, the 99 release rate, and also the one minute time limit. And also how you have to save everybody as well. Uh, except here you have f way more Lemmings. Uh, it was a little bit difficult, but um, yeah, I had to say that the timing between releasing the um, blocker with the climber um, and also building so that, uh, no one slips to the asset, including the floater. Yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty tight. Um, Mayhem 3, not very hard at all. Yeah, it seems far easier than, um, uh, Toxin 4. Yeah, despite the very similar skill set. Uh, 5 of everything except builders where you're 10. Uh, Mayhem 4, yeah, this one, I circled more with it than I should have. Um, it is a bit difficult, but, um, yeah, it's really not too hard at all. And then, um, yeah, it just seems that you have to use compression in order to, uh, minimize your losses to the zapper trap at the end. Yeah, that kind of took me by surprise a bit. <laughs> uh, Mayhem 5, another contest level, initius. 
uh, again, just like I said, I was not able to solve that law um, until about five months after the voting phase has ended. Um, it's all due to the to how the solution is very well hidden, and you have to do the start correctly. Yeah, and once you do do it correctly, yeah, then the rest is pretty easy. It's a very nice level, though. Okay, and then Mayhem 6, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a huge background. Because I don't think it's supposed to be that easy for the final level of the main pack. Yeah, and then bonus 1, yeah, <laughs> bonus 1 is a pretty nice one, but gave, also gave me a lot of trouble. Um, but um, it's pretty easy once you realize what needs to happen, though. Bonus 2, uh, yeah, bonus 2 I would say was probably the hardest low in the entire bonus rank. Um, maybe bonus four as well, yeah, but only because of the time limit, the very strict time limit. Um, yeah, bonus two was a pretty hard one, um, but I managed to figure it out after a lot of struggling in there. And then bonus three, I don't exactly know what my solution is intended. Um, yeah, here I just simply used, um, overloading of the teleport so as to get the slider past it. And so he can go towards the exit rather than use the builder staircase to make himself go the other way. But again, I'm not sure my solution is intended though. And then, like I said, bonus four. Yeah, for the final level of the pack. Um, it's not a very hard level, but um, it's only very hard because of the very strict time limit. Yeah, I certainly, my jaw kind of dropped at, at seeing the time limit and um, pretty much where, where the buttons are and everything. I was like, really? It's possible in just a minute? And yes, it is, but um, yeah, my solution that I came up with, I made it with two seconds to spare. Okay, so with that, with the completion of this LP, or rather, um, the completion of the bonus four, yeah, this concludes the LP of Long Live Lemmings. So, I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, yeah, if you've been watching. Yeah, I certainly enjoyed this pack, and I certainly learned some things about the slider as well, because um, this is the very... First time I ever played low was with the slider. Yeah, ever, ever since the uh, experimental version. Because that's the last time I played with it. Uh, with the slider. But um, I haven't since. So it's pretty much been almost a year. Um, but yes, uh, I definitely enjoyed it though. Uh, so thank you for this pack niche. And job well done with it. With it. And um, uh, soon I should be posting the rest of the replays and uh, feedback. So um, be on the lookout for that, and I'm glad to hear that you are enjoying my LP. Um, that always makes me smile. So, um, yes. So I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play, and be on the lookout for future projects that I do. Yeah, possibly in a few days or so, I'll probably start my next LP. I think I'm, I know which pack I'm going to be doing next, but uh, stay tuned for that. So, um, see you guys all around.